This is for all my friends and family. Uh, just to let you know, we made it. And we had quite the uh, travel adventures. So beginning uh, in West Point, Papa Don was so kind to give us a ride to the Richmond Airport where we picked up a rental car. Um, we got an, a, a Tesla Model 3. Thanks to Catherine, shout out to Catherine for uh, being available for FaceTime so that we could know how to operate the car. We sat there for about 10 minutes and couldn't figure out how to get this, the Tesla, uh, where to put the key and how to, how to get the thing to go. And then we're pulling out of the, the parking garage and one of the workers almost T-boned us coming up the little ramp about 50 miles an hour. Now I did have a stop sign and I was, oh, those are macaws. Two wild macaws just flew by. Sorry, you can probably hear them. So we almost died in the parking garage. And then we came down uh, to meet Papa Don and grab our luggage and almost got hit by another car. So we finally get loaded up. We take off to DC. We almost run out of battery on the way. Uh, we get the car returned. We're the first person, first people in line uh, to check in for our international flight with Copa Airlines, which departs at 1.48 a.m. We have to get there three hours early. So we get there. There's no agents there. A couple other uh, people waiting in line. Thank goodness we were first. Um, we get up to the counter, and she looks at me and says, how long are you going to Costa Rica for? And I said, three months. She said, why so long? And I said, why not? And she said, well, the max you can stay is, is 90 days, and you're booked longer than 90 days. So I looked at my reservation, and silly me, I take full responsibility. I booked our trip for 91 days. Therefore, they would not let us on that flight. Uh, and they told me to call a customer service number uh, to change my return flight so that they could allow us onto that flight. Well, this was about two hours of back and forth uh, with the ramp agent at the desk and the customer service agent on the phone. Neither one of them wanted to change or, or thought they could change the flight. So they were telling us we had to cancel this flight. We weren't going to get on this flight. We had to wait 12 hours and rebook it um, with a, a shorter time frame. Uh, so I basically had to beg and plead and go back and forth until they completely took care of everybody else in line, and we were finally able to get the ramp agent to cancel the flight and the agent on the phone to rebook the, the return flight um, in just the nick of time to get on the plane in time. Uh, so that was quite a fiasco. Um, so we, we get everything checked, whatever. We get into the, uh, the, the airplane. Flight was... Flight was fine. Uh, we, we land in Costa Rica. Everything is good. Uh, we're able to get a couple hours of sleep on the plane. Uh, so then we, uh, Jericho figured out that we could take a local bus from San Jose down here to Uvita, which is about a four or five hour drive. Um, for the local bus costs like 12 bucks, right? Really, really good deal. Well, we get there. And we get our tickets and we're about to get on the bus and some bus official comes over and says, hey, what's in the bag? Is that a dog? And we said, no, it's a cat. And he said, no animals on the bus. So we tried to get around that, but rules are rules. The rules are different here. Uh, no animals, no animals on the bus. I guess that with a longer bus ride like that, they're afraid it's going to cause problems or soil themselves or on somebody else or whatever. So we, uh, we called our, our cab driver back. It was like a private shuttle service, essentially, um, and had to pay quite a bit more money. Uh, but we were able to get a, a private shuttle down here to Uvita. Um, and it, it, it was really pleasant. Like The guy was super nice. He took us to a, his favorite local eatery little soda and we got some amazing Costa Rican food 
um, you know, took our time, took kind of the scenic route, uh, as Papa Don would say, a long cut. And uh, it, it was just, it was just absolutely gorgeous. So getting down to Uvita finally, uh, it's a very sleepy town, uh, mostly dirt roads, um, just lots and lots of natural area. Uh, this is a very popular place for uh, wild toucans and macaws uh, to just be flying around. They're, they're very loud and majestic, and uh, the macaws are, uh, you know, bright red, big wing, wingspan, even longer tails, um, and it, it's just absolutely, uh, it's glorious. I, 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 there's no other word for it. It's just, it's just beautiful, beautiful here. Uh, it is a little bit humid. Uh, which is, you know, to be expected. But um, uh, as you can see, this is this is our our yard. We've got a a really private um, kind of fenced in area, which is what I wanted for Tyrone, uh, because you know there's there's other threats here for him. Um, see, Jericho's writing me a note. Oh, tell him how good Tyrone did. So Tyrone was an absolute angel. He meowed one time in his pet carrier in the Tesla, and then did not make a peep the entire rest of the trip. Um, now we did give him a little uh, pet anti-anxiety, you know, just to kind of calm his nerves. I think it made him a little bit drowsy, uh, but, he, but he was such an angel. Uh, just, I never would have expected uh, him to do as well as he did. Um, so, you know, he, he was in that carrier for about 24 hours straight. Uh, we tried to give him treats here and there. Uh, I think giving him treats on the plane and the chewing will help his ears pop and, and things of that nature. Um, but we got here and uh, he was obviously a little freaked out in the different environment and these different sounds and birds and all this stuff. But all in all, I think he's really, really happy. Um, you know, pretty lush grounds here and space for him to roam around whatnot. So he's loving it. All right, guys, so that's, that's take one. Uh, it's my first um, you know, video thing I've ever done, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that was our experience. It was it, all in all, you know, it was, uh, it was good. It was glass half full down here in Costa Rica. So we had some hiccups, but we made it. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a uh, property tour and uh, maybe a little, little tour of uh, Uvita from what we've seen so far. So thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.